Welcome back to Up Close. They are engineering works of wonder, a profound combination of function and aesthetics. We need them and we use them. And if we take the time to watch and contemplate them, they are works of art. We are talking about bridges, masterpieces of engineering and art. Some people are more fascinated with them than others. And this morning, one of those who is among the most fascinated is our guest, Dave Frieder, who made a career out of climbing and taking pictures of bridges and Welcome. We have been friends on social media for so long, and I've yes. enjoyed your work, and now finally you are here because of this book that came out uh, last fall, this last past fall called The Magnificent Bridges of New York City, and you have put together all the places you've been. It sounds like a, 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 a spot kind of thing, you know, uh, but it, it's not. It's an amazing book. First, let me talk, ask you, why, why your fascination with bridges? Well, I grew up in Queens till I was six, and I was, lived in Flushing, and we used to cross Northern Boulevard, and to get over the Flushing Creek, or river, there was a double-leaf bascule bridge where the leaves would come up like this. So when you're three years old, driving with your father into Manhattan, you see this bridge come up in front of you, and then you grow, drive over it, it's like, wow, look at that. First it was up in the air, now it's back where it's supposed to be, and you're driving over this magnificent bit of engineering. Yeah, but not every three-year-old who, who does that goes into making a career out of this. No, but that fascinated me. And then my grandparents lived in Manhattan and in Brooklyn, and I'm always looking up at the bridges. We used to take the FDR drive to visit my grandparents. I'm looking up at the Queensboro. I'm looking at these finials. I call them crowns. I said, wow, look at those things. They don't really serve a function. I wonder what it would be like if I was up there close to it. I didn't realize years later I'd be climbing the thing. You'd be up there and, yeah. and, and turning our Up Close program into an Up High program. Yes. We're going to show some pictures of, of some of the things you've done and then later we'll go back and explain each one. But I want to, okay. as you're talking about this, I want, I want the viewers to see exactly what you've done. Yes. You climb up a bridge. How do you do that? You're not allowed to do that these days, right? Uh, no. Before 9-11, as long as I had my bridge insurance, I told all four bridge authorities, which was Port Authority, TBTA, New York City DOT, and Amtrak, what I wanted to do, what I was working for, which was a fine art coffee table book. They said, as long as we have someone to escort you and you have your bridge insurance, as long as you have no fear of heights, which heights does not phase me one Clearly bit. they don't, no. Uh, and so they said, no problem. And I would occasionally give them photographs for their troubles and I gained their trust and I had an almost unprecedented access to climb and photograph every major bridge. No way you do that today, right? No. You can't. No. It's, totally. It's, the security has shut all that down. Pretty much. So, Though I have to admit the Port Authority has was so kind to me back in 2008, I finally got to walk the main cables of the GW. There you go. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, it, how do you do it? How do you climb up there? Uh, well, for Brooklyn, the only way to get up to the top of the tower, you have to walk the main cable. And that's 15 and 3 quarter inches diameter. So you have to walk up the cable. 15 inches. 15 and 3 quarter inches. That's not big. No. GWB, there's a set of elevators that takes you to a certain point, then you have to climb through this hatchway into the saddle room, and then you step out onto this platform, then you can walk onto either cable. So, you, uh, I happen to know this, you, you were, as a youngster, uh, and when you were younger, you were a, a gymnastics person, right? Yeah, I so, did gymnastics for about 20 some odd years. So that helped you in this endeavor? Yes, it taught me how to climb, hang, and crawl all over these structures. And were you strapped in? I hooked up, let's say, 99.99% .99 of the time. It said, it said 0.001% of the time that's going to scare the heck out of your parents, right? Uh, yeah, it scared them. It scared a lot of people, but I had a lot of self-confidence, and I knew what was right and what was wrong, and I was not a daredevil. I knew where the safety was very important. Okay, but there is some daredevil in it, even though you may not describe yourself as that. That aside, though, the debate over whether you're a daredevil or not, uh, what do you get out of it, and what were you trying to do by taking all these pictures? I realized that New York City's bridges are really one of a kind. Modern bridge engineering started in New York. The Brooklyn was the first system suspension bridge to use galvanized steel wires in its main cable like this. This is from Throg's Neck Bridge, but this is what makes up a main cable for Brooklyn Bridge. You know, How many are there are there? For Brooklyn, is 5,434 wires that makes up a 15 and 3 quarter inch cable. Yeah. And then the first major all steel suspension bridge was the Williamsburg, which is 5 feet longer, well actually 4.5 feet longer than the Brooklyn. And before we get to the pictures and you explain them, pick up that, that big one. That's from the GWB. This is an actual piece of rolling. GWB suspender rope, 271 wires, makes up a th two and seven eighths inch of rope. And how much does that weigh? This is about 13, 14 pounds. It looks heavier than that. I'm going to go through the pictures, David, and I want you to explain. Put that down before you. Yeah, that's it. I don't want anybody hurt. Um, let's look at some of the uh, some of the pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, this is obviously you uh, in the 
uh, with the World Trade Centers in the background. Which bridge is that? Okay, I'm on top of the Brooklyn Tower of okay. Brooklyn Bridge. And I have my 5x7 camera up there. That was the only place I could use a large format camera without the vibration to cause it to become out of focus. Are you not, you're clearly not afraid of heights. Uh, doesn't, that's only 272 feet. That's so, nothing for me. Nothing, nothing. Doesn't mean a thing. Uh, let's go to the next one. Now, what, what, this is the Gothels. Gothels, that's the and correct pronunciation. Not Gothels, no. many of us say. Yes. And, and this is connects uh, New Jersey to Staten Island. Correct. And it exists no longer. That bridge is totally gone. Now there's the new Gothels Bridge, which is a diagonal cable stay. That's a cantilever truss type bridge. She's beautiful. Next one, Andy. And look at that. And what, tell me what we're looking at. That's the Queens Tower of the Triborough Bridge. I was actually, I was able to walk the center divider, the entire length of the center divider when it was low. And I just stopped at that point and looked up at the tower. Those vertical posts you see, they serve no function. That's strictly decoration. This is art and engineering structure all at the same time. Yes. This, obviously, the Brooklyn Bridge. Yes. I'm lying down on the cable so I get a better view of the cable leading up to the top of the tower. And how, how what's the diameter on this? That's again, 15, 15 and three quarter inches diameter. So are you strapped in? Uh, yeah, I'm hooked up to the hand ropes. Those ropes you see above the yes. main cable, uh, my safety harness is hooked up to those. All right, and the next one, uh, what is that? That's the Verrazano, that's my shadow from the main cable. I'm looking down, I'm at the first cable band where the suspender ropes are looped over the main cable and I'm looking down. And you're waving to yourself. And I just figured, let me do a self-portrait just to give people a deaf. Is that day or night? It's hard to... No, it's day. Day. That's day, the morning. Bottom, the bottom is... That's the base of the bridge. That's the Got deck. It. That's the road deck. Okay. And the next one? Okay. I'm Where's on top it? of the GWB. I like to kid around. Everyone has to have a little sense of humor. I have a f saying or phrase called feel the steel. The more you understand the subject that you're photographing or sculpturing or painting, the better you understand it. So. I like Star Trek, so I'm doing a mind meld or feeling the steel with the GWB. Dave Frieder as Mr. Spock. Uh, next one, Andy, and there, now that is the Manhattan Bridge. Correct. And the Twin Towers in the background, of course. Yes, and I'm and standing on top. on top of the sphere. I call them a sphere, actually called a finial, like on the Queensboro, but that is the sphere. I'm standing up there, and I'm using, that's another self-portrait where I had the camera hooked to a motor winder, and I'm releasing the motor winder. I want to tell you, the book again is The Magnificent Bridges of New York City uh, by Dave Frieder. Uh, and your website is www.dayfreeder.com and they can look at all your pictures. Yes. W really quickly, we just got a couple seconds left. W what is it that you get out of this? There's got to be something that touches you internally. Uh, about this. I just find these bridges fascinating. They're marvels of civil engineering. I wanted to show the world how magnificent these bridges are. They, 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 they put people together. They have form. They have function. They're just incredible structures. You have been on 20 bridges in New York City. Yes. And there are, I didn't know this until I talked to you, 2,077 bridges in New York City. In all. For instance, the FDO Drive, where it ramps up at 96th That's Street. That's considered a bridge. Yes. That, there you go. And you've toured many of them. This is fascinating. Thank you so much for joining us. So thank this you very much. I really appreciate it. And it was great to finally meet you. Thanks. Same here. All right. Dave Frieder. Thank you. Uh, uh, bridge climber and bridge photographer. Thank you very much, Sam. And we'll be right back.